Oh my god, what's going on? Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play the Goddamn Batman with Mioxfu. <laughs> I'm really glad I chose that title because it's really just fun to say like, Goddamn Batman! Bah, 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 bah. Anyway, we're going to start seeing what's this? Uh, enemies. Whoa, 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 god, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> whoa, jeez. Yeah, no, I was trying to actually like... Oh god, no, 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 no. You can actually get to the Decker's corner control of, the cell of, a, corridor. <laughs> of a of a wall and actually peek around, which is what I was trying to do. But <laughs> oh god! But anyway, every bad guy that we see that is carrying a gun will now be marked in red. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Corner cover. Jeez. Because now see. <laughs> Now we're not being shot to death by these guys. <laughs> no, it's it's okay actually because they're trying to teach us um stealth a stealthy approach to this though. So anyway, let's go. Hoi! So basically, what you're gonna do is crawl up, go up behind him, and silent takedown. Okay, what was that pointing at? I thought it was pointing at something. Oh, it was pointing at the alcohol. That's why. I'm like, is it pointing at this? piece of steam equipment or something, but yeah, you just go back up behind the guy, press triangle, and take him out, and, well, I'm not gonna do that with the last guy, because, I mean, it's just the one of them left, so I'll do a regular ground takedown so I can punch him in the face! Extreme prejudice. But our health should come back? Yeah, there we go, at least a little, because there's an, actually an enemy up here. Let's listen on his, on his conversation, shall we? The Arkham Chumps never stood a chance. Well, good. Our friendly neighborhood rodent is on his way. You need to set a trap. He must not leave this building. Do you understand me? Uh, yes, boss. The, the bat is as good as dead. I hope you keep your promises, boy. I'd hate to have to go and punish your family just to teach you a lesson. And I can promise you, they won't be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and the Joker knows we're there. Like, the first time I hid behind the wall because I thought the Joker would be like, Look out behind you! It's bats! But, like, listen to this. I suppose I better warn my boys you're on the way. Hey, maybe I won't. It'll be a nice surprise. And that's why I love the Joker, because he's just as horrible to his henchmen as he is to everybody else. I mean, he's absolutely insane like it, it doesn't matter whether he wins or not in the at the end of the day it's whether he has fun <laughs> all right let's be quick because we can actually get in here and take out this guy before he walks away as long as we're in the actual air duct i don't believe they can actually see us until we get them alarmed like see we're easy as pie now we're actually introduced to quite a few new types of takedowns as well. Especially good thing because we can't actually be hurt by uh Nothing to be afraid. We can't actually we can't actually be detected while we're doing the bat claw thing, I think. But look, look at this. Go right through the window, take out a guy. Why not? It's so it's it's really fun just to do these stealthy takedown missions, because I mean these guys are armed as well. Oh wait, where'd the other guy go? There's one more guy. Where are you? Oh, he's over there. Whoops. Huh. Because he's usually, like, right down here, so I was going to actually hang and do a, an inverted takedown, because I really want to show you guys what that is, too. I guess I'll wait till the next group of enemies. Stop that or you'll pay the price. Nice, nice, nice. That's, that's some real good... What was that? Oh man, I'm losing it. <laughs> That's some real good uh, motivational speaking you got there, Joker. But yeah, now actually we can use the this view to see that this guy is... Well, we should be able to. I believe he's terrified because he's this actually shooting everywhere, but let's just take him out of his misery. Well, not take him out of his misery because he's still alive, but let's let's uh, calm, him, calm his tits a bit. I mean, look at him, look at him. Whoa, whoa. 
There we go. <laughs> He's got enough tits to come. Anyway, I'm gonna actually jump down here because I believe we can do a sort of takedown from in here as well. So, these guys know that we're definitely here, so it's a lot harder. The idea is to be able to take him out. Um, oh yeah, wait a minute. Come on, I want to get to one of these gargoyles quickly. Uh, because we might be able to do an inverted takedown, maybe? Uh, doesn't look like it. Yeah, this guy's gonna go in there. Shoot. Where are the rest of the guys? There's four guys, I believe? Yeah, there's a third. Fourth. Where is the fourth one? I do not see a fourth guy. Maybe there's, maybe there are only three. I don't know. Anyway, this guy is not going where I want him to go. So let's go over there quick. Flip over. And get ready to do an inverted takedown. Now, these are my favorites of the takedowns. Just because they're... Come on. Come on. Just a little bit more. Uh, well, as soon as he moves moves over, maybe we'll be able to see. Oh, I really want to do an inverted takedown on you. Come on. They're all just standing around being like, I don't know what to do. I'm really scared of the Batman. All right, I'm actually going to try for this guy because he actually looks like he might be going around doing stuff. I'm just going to check back real quick in case that guy's decided to actually move down under the gargoyle and piss me off. I should have really just waited on top of that gargoyle and gotten this guy. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, well, anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, you don't. You best not be thinking of going down that staircase while I'm not there. Come on. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. Just a step more. Jeez. There we go. Inverted takedown. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. And now he's just dangling from the gargoyle. And he's completely conscious. Uh, come on. Show us the heart rate and stuff. There we go. Oh no, he's unconscious now, but he starts out unconscious, and it's hilarious, because he's just he's screaming to his buddies and everything, and they don't even think to cut him down or anything. It's great. Alright, let's see if we can get a... Yeah, they're nervous. Okay, that's perfect. Once we get down to one guy, it's more a game of cat and mouse than anything, because we're just playing with them. It's <laughs> no big deal. Alright, I'm going to jump over here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to take out these two guys if they're this close together. You'd think they'd be able to see me, too. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, because right now they're, they're covering each other's backs, so it's actually kind of hard to sneak up on them. Ooh, wait a minute. We might be able to get another inverted takedown if this guy goes where I think he might be going. If not, I can... Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. Ha-ha! What are you doing? <laughs> not today. All right, and then the last guy, we can just do a nice, easy glide kick. Take him out. Perfect. Ho-ho! Oh, oh. Was that... Was that... You don't want to get hurt? You don't want to get punched in the back of the head? Well, too bad, because I'm the goddamn Batman. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the other thing, the best part, is you can actually cut them down once you've strung them up. <laughs> I've never actually tried it from that far away. It's perfect. Alright, take out these teeth. There we go. I'm really glad they have that quick boomerang button. Gordon. Otherwise, it'd be, it's, it'd be really annoying to get them down. Hey, hey, Bowles, you got something on your face. Did you spill some of your whiskey? Huh? You okay? You okay? You need a hand or anything, buddy? Oh, I think he's dead. Well, yeah, dead end. <laughs> anyway, here we have the introduction of the ever-elusive Edward Nigma. 
The Riddler was always my favorite of all the Batman villains because he went out of his way to leave clues so that Batman could always figure out what he was doing. Because if he didn't leave those clues, he would be the most dangerous enemy that Batman ever fought because he is absolutely... The, he's, he's the smartest of all the villains that Batman's ever faced. But it's because he believes in leaving a clue for... Batman that he always fails. I don't know. It's really it's really cool to me. Plus, he's got a sort of taunting that challenges Batman rather than I don't know. The, rather than the, rather than just taunting him because he can't do anything like the Joker does. <laughs> I don't really know. I just think it, I just think that. The Riddler is really cool. Plus, let's actually go... Whoa. Come on. Yeah, we'll go see you, Mr. Baldy Bald Pants, in a second. I want to look at character bios. And I want to look at the Riddler, because the Riddler is freaking awesome. Look at that outfit. That outfit is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I wish I could dress as sharply as that. But anyway, what he had us do is that in each room of the of the asylum there is a riddle, and his was "Don't cut yourself on this sharply observed portrait." So, portrait of Warden Sharp. It's pretty easy. It gets a lot harder later on. Like I think there's another riddle that we can do in this this uh, area that I just can't remember for the life of me what it actually is. Like, it might be this room. Maybe. I can't. I can't. I don't know. We'll figure it out later, because we're this is not gonna be the last time we'll be back here. Anyway, William North massacre. What do you have for Rose us? Came walking in telling everyone to cover the front entrance. And you didn't? I heard something about the Joker's <laughs> army coming through the main gate. Two of my guys moved to the exit, and Frank shot him dead. Well while whilst I went and Balls hid in this office. I thought he was. Then I saw hardly didn't even try to do anything. She was surrounded by black gate prisoners. They were just killing Some security guard you are. I had no choice. I, I got in here, locked the door. <laughs> I, I could see it on the security feed. They had someone with them. It Commissioner? Like Commissioner. Bowles is dead. They carried on without him. Must have outlived his usefulness. Good. Must have. Must have kept scum. blabbering off his mouth, too. Anyway, now we have to... Our idea is just I'm to sorry, escape buddy. outside of this part of the asylum and... We'll go from there, you know? Well, we also have to save Commissioner Gordon, of course, but they left, so we've got to try to find out where they went. All right. We now this... To our regular broadcast. Jack Ryder is live from the it's weird, because that sounds like the same actor who does the voice for the Riddler, and this is actually the next of the Riddler's uh, challenges for us. Uh, you don't know Jack about Gotham, tune in to find out. The other part of these these uh, challenges is that they give you a buttload of XP. And you really want to... You actually really do want to do them, because otherwise you're not going to be able to unlock all of the upgrades as quickly as you need to. Like, you don't actually need to unlock all of the up any of the upgrades, I don't think, but it just makes things a lot easier and a lot cooler. Anyway, uh... He's kind of a Spider-Man character, it looks like. What, what his viewers don't realize, he's he's also the creeper, garishly colored vigilante, who Ryder can, with effort, turn into at will. Although, at that point, the creeper's manic personality takes over. So he's kind of like, uh... The Spider-Man mixed with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I guess. Because, I mean, he's the, the, the reporter who can turn into a hero at will. And always goes out of his way to report on superhero going-ons. But, at the same time, he doesn't have control of his alter ego. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. Anyway, I think it's actually time for another episode to end. This time I will, however, get outside of the air duct before we end, because I want to 
show that we've left the asylum. Right about now. Huh! There we go. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play the Goddamn Batman with Mio Fu. Oh man. And now we get our first glimpse of the asylum in its entirety. In Gotham City in the background, and a moon that could rival the size of moons in Japan. <laughs> I always found that funny, how huge a moon was in Japanese video games or anime. Look at that. That's That thing's freaking huge. Have you ever seen the moon that big? I've never seen it that big. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play the Goddamn Batman with Mio Take it easy. <laughs>